Number 49, letter A. Sodium vapor light averaging 589 nanometers in wavelength falls on a single slit of width 7.5 micrometers. At what angle does it produce a second minimum? So we're using this formula. This is the formula for single slit minimums. I know that's confusing. Take a look at number 43, though. I gave a firm directive. Go back into our channel, go to playlist, check out chapter 27 playlist, and you'll be able to find it. All right? So D sine theta is going to be equal to M lambda. So what we are asked to find is we are asked to find the angle. So solve this for the angle. Boom, bada bing, bada boom. You divide out the D. And then what you got to do is you're going to have to take the inverse sine on both sides, right? So I get rid of that. And there you go. So this is now inverse sine of then M. And it says the second minimum. So M is 2. The wavelength then is going to be 589 times 10 to the minus 9th because we need that in meters. And then we will now do the distance uh, of the slit or the distance between the or the distance of the opening basically 7.5 times 10 to the minus sixth okay because that also has to be in terms of meters take out the calculator and please make sure it is in degree mode and go to town inverse sine of 2 times 589 times 10 to the minus ninth divided by 7 7.5 times 10 to the minus sixth i'm going to value here about 9 9.0 i guess 4 times 10, no, what am I, times, times 10 to the zero. And we we're just going to leave it like that. All right, there's the degree sign at the top. Oh my goodness, there we go. And that takes care, okay, so that turned into a circle, right. My circle turned into a square and then my square turned into a circle. Love this. So B, what is the highest order minimum produced? All right, the highest order minimum. So let's, uh, write down the formula again. D sine theta is equal to M lambda. Now, we're trying to find the highest order produced. Uh, so what we're gonna do is I'm actually gonna solve this for sine of theta, and I'll kind of explain why in a second. So divide out the D from both sides, so it just goes just like that. So, aha, you probably thought somebody else whistled at you, right? So, now basically what I have to realize is I have to realize that this sine of theta, okay, can be within a certain uh, you know, range of numbers. It goes from zero to one, inclusive of both zero and one. Okay. This isn't going to become zero because M cannot be zero. All right. So M has to be either, some, it'll be some positive integer. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think you see the pattern. So what I realize is that uh, I, I'm actually going to, instead of leaving, because it's a theoretical question, kind of, right? It's like, what's the highest order that can be produced? What I want to do then is I want to maximize this side because that will allow me to maximize this side. In other words, the maximum value for sine of theta is going to be which? One. So I'm going to write a one here. And that's then going to be equal to now M. I'm going to solve for it, okay? M multiplied them by the wavelength. So they gave me the 500 the 589 times 10 to the minus ninth meters. Then divide that by the uh, width of the slit, right? And they told you what it was. It was 7.5 times 10 to the minus six meters. Now, here's the thing. You can change this equal sign to being basically, it has to be now, this, this whole side has to be less than, right? Or equal to one, okay? Less than or equal to one. Just like that, meaning one has to be greater than or equal to, okay? Because this side has to be less than. Does that make sense? So in other words, and we can always reorder this, right? Now, if you had to kind of move some things around a little bit, you would then move, let's say, uh, divide this, well, not, well, you're really cross multiplying it, right? So now what you can do is cross multiply, well, that's gonna get a little messy. I'm just thinking about how I wanna show it. Okay, why don't we just reduce this? So one has to be, and I really don't like using inequalities because I think they get confusing. So, uh, but you know, that's how we'll do it here. So 589 times 10 to the minus ninth divided by then 7.5 times 10 to the minus six, kind of already committed to it. So this is gonna be M now times then 0 0.0785. Then divide this number out on both sides. So simply take this and just divide it, right? I didn't catch on that time, I know, I know. You're, you know my tactics now. So this is now going to be one divided by that value, okay? And what this is saying now, 
12.73 greater than or equal to m. In other words, if I were to flip this around, because I know that might seem a little strange, it would be m then less than or equal to, because I gotta, if I flip this to the other side, I gotta flip this sign, all right? And then this becomes 12.73. So this is telling me that m has to be less than or equal to 12.73. That's cool, but remember, m cannot be a decimal. It has to be a inter an integer. And therefore, the closest then integer that is less than 12.73 would be them 12. Okay, so that is the highest order minimum that can be produced. Guys, thank you so very much for tuning in. I appreciate it. Please help us out if you can. We appreciate it so very much. Liking and subscribing, it really does a lot to help out the channel, and it does mean a tremendous amount to us. Um, I really do hope this does help, and uh, we'd love to help you out with more problems too. Check out, we got a whole bunch of other problems out there, not only in physics, but chemistry, pre-calculus, calculus. Got a whole bunch of stuff out there. All right, and we'll talk to you soon through the computer. Take care.